Let's look at eigenvector and eigenvalues. Consider this column matrix 2, 1. It has two rows and one column. This matrix can be considered a vector in two dimensional space. This means it has magnitude, which is the length of the vector, and it has direction, which is the angle it makes with the x axis. Now let's say I have another matrix 5, 4, 2, 3 and I multiply this matrix with the vector. The resultant vector will be 14, 7. And if I plot this new vector 14, 7, it will look like this. Its length has increased. The new coordinates are 14, 7, but its angle still remains the same 26.6 degrees. So this new vector 14, 7 can also be written as 7 multiplied by 2, 1. Isn't 2 1 the original vector we started off with? Its magnitude has increased by a factor of 7, but its direction still remains the same. So, this vector, which only increases or decreases in magnitude but does not change its line of action or direction, is called eigenvector. And this vector 7 is called eigenvalue. This eigenvalue only changes the magnitude of the vector, it either increases or decreases it. It does not change its line of action or its direction. So we can say that this only scales the original eigenvector. So it is in fact a scaling factor. And this matrix over here is called linear transformation matrix. Why? Because it linearly transforms the vector to which it was multiplied with. In our case, it transformed its magnitude. Now, a linear transformation matrix can also change the direction if it is multiplied with a vector, if that vector is not an eigenvector. So what happens if I change the linear transformation matrix and use this new matrix now? 6, 4, 2, 5. Now the result will be 16, 9. Now if I plot this, it gives me this vector. You can see that the vector has increased in magnitude and it has also changed its direction. Its angle is now 29.4 degrees with x-axis. Its magnitude has also increased. So now this vector is not an eigenvector because it has both changed its magnitude and also changed its direction. So this is very important to note. If a vector changes its direction and also changes its magnitude, it is not an eigenvector. So going back to this system where we have eigenvectors, we can write a small equation as ax is equal to b, where a is the linear transformation matrix, x is the vector to which the linear transformation matrix is applied to, and b is the result. And b can be written as lambda multiplied by x, where lambda is the scaling factor, or eigenvalue. And we already know that ax is equal to b, and if b is lambda x, then ax must be equal to lambda x. And this equation, ax is equal to lambda x, is known as eigenvalue equation. And for this system where linear transformation matrix changes both the direction and scale of a vector, then this eigenvector equation is no longer applicable. Instead, a general linear transformation equation will be used, which is ax is equal to b. In this equation, there is no eigenvector and there is no eigenvalue or scaling factor. Now, one key concept to keep in mind, if we go back to the original system, and what if I multiply this vector with this linear transformation matrix, minus 5, minus 4, minus 2, minus 3, then the scaling factor will be minus 7. And it will flip the direction of this vector in addition to changing its magnitude but its line of action still remains the same. This means that this vector is reflected. And in this system, this is still the eigenvector and this is still the eigenvalue, even though the direction of the vector is flipped, but the line of action of the eigenvector still remains the same as its original line of action. So eigenvalue can both be positive or negative, a negative eigenvalue will flip the direction along with scaling the eigenvector. And we already know that an eigenvector is a vector that does not change its line of action. It only increases or decreases in magnitude. Now eigenvectors have a lot of practical application for real life problems. 
Eigenvectors can help determine long-term steady-state behavior such as uh, wire spread in population. For electrical circuits, they are used in analyzing power systems and circuit stability. And in quantum mechanics, uh, eigenvectors represent possible quantum states of particles. I hope this has been useful. Thank you.